Good morning, guys. It's the end of another fantastic stay here in Port Lincoln. And today, um, it's time for me to head back to Adelaide. And this morning, we're flying on Qantas Link. So uh, the last time I did this flight, it was with Rex. So this is a good opportunity for me to do a, a little comparison between the both airlines to see what are the fundamental difference. If you haven't seen my um, outbound flight from Adelaide to Port Lincoln, I'm going to link it in the description below. So you can actually take a look at that and compare that to my previous Rex flight as well. Yep, so I'm looking forward to heading back to Adelaide after a fantastic holiday here. So let's uh, head to the Qantas check-in counters now. Let's go. Before the pandemic, Port Lincoln was a mecca for international visitors and still is presently the gateway to the beautiful Southern Air Peninsula. Therefore, it is not surprising that Port Lincoln Airport is South Australia's second busiest airport after Adelaide. This modern looking terminal was opened in August 2013, which fits the simple tranquility, which is Port Lincoln, one of my favorite destinations that I've discovered in 2020. As this video was filmed in October last year, mask wearing wasn't compulsory, but was instead highly recommended by Qantas. Unlike Rex, who made sure your temperature was taken and there are constant reminders to keep your mask on from the time you check in till disembarkation at your destination. From January 2021, with a new variant of the virus making its rounds, it is now compulsory for masks to be worn at all Australian airports for all airlines at all times. Perhaps Rex was onto something after all. There are only two gates at Port Lincoln Airport, and Gate 1 belongs to Qantas Link. Available at boarding gates are flywell packs consisting of a single-use mask and sanitizing wet wipes for you to pick up before heading to the aircraft. The de Havilland Canada-8 of Qantas is the smallest aircraft type in their fleet. The smallest of this fleet is the Dash 8 200. Today, we are boarding the Dash 8 300 which accommodates 50 passengers in an all-economy layout configured in a 2x2. Two two. In preparation for takeoff, please ensure that your window shades are... Oh. There are no window shades on this plane. These seats felt very narrow at 17 inches in width. Maybe it's my imagination. By the way, they also do not recline. The seat pitch is 31 inches, but it looks a lot more than that with my short legs. You get a tray table, which doesn't fall in half and can't be moved back and forth. Before we knew it, we were taxiing towards runway 19. Since this airport doesn't have parallel taxiways to the runway, we had to stop to allow a Rex Saab 340 to land first before we entered the active.
you are enjoying this video so far, why not subscribe to my channel? After you've hit subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell icon so you'll get notified every time I step on board another Qantas baby prop. Alternatively, you can also follow me on Instagram using the handle below, just so you'll know what sort of trips I'll be taking before I publish a video. Port Lincoln Airport is located 13 kilometers north of Port Lincoln in North Shields. Distance to Adelaide is 152 miles or 245 kilometers, a flight time of 47 minutes. Although, we're really only in the air for 35. Being such a short flight, it wasn't long before we were at cruising altitude. The flight attendants wasted no time to get the service started. Unlike Rex, where you have a choice between a sweet or savoury snack, Qantas just provides one type of snacks. Today, it was a delicious macadamia fruit chocolate slice and a bottle of water. A tea and coffee service was carried out after we got our snacks. This service was incredibly efficient because they were done with everyone once we were coasting into the York Peninsula, which is our halfway point on this flight. Our descent began over the York, and it was soon wheels down over the Spencer Gulf, a sign that we were getting closer to Adelaide Airport. Soon, the beachside suburbs of Adelaide appeared as we made an approach for runway 12, an extremely short runway normally reserved for prop aircraft like ours. Australia as a whole has been incredibly lucky in terms of getting affected by COVID-19. Our strict border restrictions meant that we've managed to keep infected numbers very low and manageable. Since international travel is out of the question, we can only travel within our own backyard. And we are blessed that my backyard of South Australia is almost the size of India. This flight marks the end of a series of Port Lincoln videos and I really have to thank the pandemic for this because I wouldn't have otherwise thought of heading there for a holiday. I shall link my other videos from this trip in the description below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe so you can join me on my journey throughout 2021 as I fly within Australia and explore more of this beautiful country I call home. So here we are, back in Adelaide. Uh, that was a pretty nice flight with Qantas on the Dash 8. 300 series. Um, I would say it's probably my new favorite aircraft. Um, yeah, love it on that plane. 
But anyway, I'll see you for my next video. And until the next time, if you're traveling, please travel safe. Make sure you're social distancing yourselves and wash your hands regularly. Alright, I'll see you for my next video. See you around. Bye.